all right so in this video here we are going to work on the comment page so in this um in our views here we have to create a new file called um we can just call it post details dot that so because when you click on the comment you want to get um the details of the post and you know before we can go ahead and comment on there so stateful widget not consumer that is um provider stateful widget i mean i'm going to call this um post details all right so this will receive a scaffold i gotta have a but about just 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 have a about that is chilling that is chilling literally chilling ah, ha, ha, ha. so in our yep in our stuff here in our post data here in it um what we can do is is on click when this stuff is being clicked on yep so you want to go ahead to the post details page or comment this i don't know why you commented that post details and also import get text so beautiful yeah so the first one to do is first style our our page so let's go ahead and style our page so we have positive here yeah, we can go ahead and just customize this a little bit by saying background color should be colors dot black we can go ahead and have elevation should be zero center title should be true okay so it will yeah so it will flex we can flow with what we have now once that is done already we can go ahead and have a column here yeah. this column here we can go ahead and have a children and what we need is just the post data here. Yeah. Post data. Post data, post data, post data. Where are you, my boy? Post data, where are you? Post data, where are you? Okay. So, post data, we just have to pass in the post data here. Yeah. As simple as that, then in this post data here, yeah, we have to include post. In this post, I'm just going to include post here because, yeah, why not? Because in this place, we're going to be accepting final post model post. Uh, you are going to import the post model and we are going to include it here. So click on quick fix, click on add, and it's going to add that. Then we have an error that says the widget is not defined. So we have to make this widget dot post because this is a stateful widget, not a stateless widget now in this post data here we have to do post equals to now what do we need to put pass we have to pass in the post that we have here so that particular post that we have is going to be transferred to that place so in our posted title here instead of doing post details here what about I just do widget dot post dot title um what am i having this here this here is okay in value is constant value so remove this and add this okay. there's no title actually is um content let know just call it you know content can be a little bit so maybe we should have added a title so i don't know so let's just get and do user dot name so the user that created it so the name of the user all right seems fair enough and we are going to get an error yep so we have to go back actually no let's just auto restart and see if everything works fine so let's uh, restart. I said we are going to fix that issue in this video, so we are actually going to do that. So let's wait for this to work. Click on comment. Beautiful. You can see I have the username and I have the post data. So yeah, you can see we actually don't need to do like anything at all. We just have to have to just pass in the um, the stuff as a property. Now in this column here, I'm just going to wrap this with a padding all 8.0 okay seems okay now under it i want to have our comment field so i'm using concise box and i remember i created an uh a text field a text of our login so this is video what i play i call it inputs widget inputs widget i believe is input widget yes Yep, is input widgets. I'm just going to call this input widget. I'm very sick and tired of why this 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 is not auto completed for me. So input widget. I want to have in text. 
call this comment oh what was i write a comment and um controller i believe i just leave it there uh what am i having this error is it required oh obscure text is required so obscure text should be false yep then yeah we are going to just pass in final text editing controller comment controller copy this if i'm going to just put this right here save this and let's take a look at this so we have a comment system and comments and um, box actually not the comment system yet so the video button we can just say uh text comments actually save this and it should be good then here we can go ahead and do style elevator button start from exactly what we need save this yep and okay that is okay but before the um uh, input I'm, I'm looking at where, where can i add this mm. i was thinking of you know what let us have have um, a container here width that we want to have height of 200 so basically this is going to represent our mp3 so 200 um let me get 500 nope uh, we can make it 500 and just add a um, secret child screw yes something like that good child school view okay boys um 500 is so much actually let's just keep that 300 then that space is going to be for our input feed so we are going to have a child list view builder so once you have a list view builder context comma index so we're going to do return text comment all right so yeah also we have to pass an item count so how many let's just say 10 and how to do shrink wrap to be true okay good so once you scroll like this uh, this one is to be here all right i think that is fair enough so what we want to do now is um in our post controller yep so before we move to our post controller let's go ahead and look at our comments oh my response so before that that is actually going to be the next video so basically be sure like and subscribe see you next time peace